don't know about you, but sociology is that type of subject where you love it or you hate it. I had quite a tumultuous experience with it, from my teacher not being the best and working on a 5 at the end of year 10 to getting a 9 in it for my GCSEs. And today I just want to give you my advice on how I got to that stage. So for my revision, I used the AQA Sociology textbook by Collins, All in One Revision and Practice. This was such a helpful textbook as it contained all the condensed notes I needed, questions to check your knowledge and past papers for you to attempt at the back of the book. This made understanding the contents so much easier. I mainly used blurting when it came to revising for sociology. This is when you write down as much as you know about a topic and check with the textbook to see any gaps in your knowledge. I would do this for subtopics instead of one whole topic as that would be way too much to blurt. This would really help me identify what I needed to know and memorise information quickly. It's nice to get a whiteboard to do this instead of paper, but if you don't have a whiteboard you can also use spare paper as well. For sociology, Key terms are so important. They literally build up the foundation of everything you need to know. So you need to know them. The first question you get for any paper in a sociology exam is a multiple choice question testing your knowledge on key terms. So you don't want to lose easy marks on not knowing them. You also need to use key terms in your answers for any questions that you have in your paper anyway. So you need to know them. In your assessment objectives, it requires you to know about subject terminology, i.e. key terms. I suggest you make some flashcards on it or blurting as many key words you know about a topic. Key perspectives are also important. You'll be required to know about the main perspectives such as functionalists, Marxists, feminists, i.e. the holy trinity of sociological perspectives. You also need to know about specific sociologists, as you may be asked about them in 3, 4 or 12 mark questions. For example, a specific sociological perspective is Delphi and Leonard. They go under the main perspective of feminists, but they have their specific ideas that contribute towards the family. The 12 markers make up 50% of your exam, so it's essential that you focus on these first in your exams. I would say devote about 18 minutes maximum for each 12 marker in your paper. Exam technique is also important, so try and do these under timed conditions to get better at finishing on time. You are mainly going to be assessed on AO3 during these 12 markers, so you need to know your key terms, sociological perspectives, statistics and research methods as well. I will link below this document which has a ton of 12 markers for you to try for each topic on top of other questions for each topic as well. You can get your teacher to mark them and get feedback. You can also check with your notes to see what points you missed and what you could include in your answers. My maps can also be useful when revising for sociology as you can have all the information you need to know condensed into a few large pages. Consistent revision is important, so make sure you go over the information regularly and space it out over a long period of time so that the information can stick and stay in your long-term memory. The good thing about sociology is that it has less content in comparison to other subjects and you can apply the knowledge you already know into some of the questions. It is the study of society, after all.